Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSEX rebounded to the green zone today, adding 61 points or 1.19 percent and settled at 5,252 points. Market turnover was 5.65 billion Bangladeshi takas, which is an increase of 31.04 percent compared to the previous trading day. Grameen Fon and Robbie Axiata from the telecommunications sector. Brack Bank, Midland Bank and Islami Bank from the banking sector, and British American Tobacco, National Tea Company and Olympic Industries from the food and allied sector mainly pulled the market up today. In terms of sector-wise return, NBFI sector posted the highest gain of 5.82%, while the textile sector registered the second highest gain of 4.2%. On the other hand, the mutual fund sector posted the highest loss of 1.25%. Six textile, four financial institution and two food and allied companies were among the top 20 gainers today. Midas Financing PLC, National Tea Company and Olive Industries Limited registered the highest gain while First Bangladesh Fixed Income Fund, City Insurance and LR Global Bangladesh Mutual Fund 1 were the top losers today. First Bangladesh Fixed Income Fund experienced a notable decline in their share prices as the auditors of FBFIF published a qualified opinion for its financial statements for the year ended June 2024. There is no publicly disclosed price sensitive information for the volume increase of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of New Line Clothings, Runner Automobiles and Gen X Infosys increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There is no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase of these stocks. Top two news today. Bangladesh's remittance inflow grew 21.31% year-on-year in October to $2.39 billion, helping relieve pressure on foreign reserves. From July to October FY 2024 to 25, remittances reached $8.93 billion, a 30% increase from last year. This rise is partly due to lower commodity prices and fewer transfers through informal channels. However, ongoing foreign payments and slow export growth keep reserves under pressure. Experts recommend sending more skilled workers abroad and tackling informal remittance systems, with reserves now at $19.87 billion. The National Board of Revenue NBR, has cut the tax rate on capital gains from selling listed shares to 15% for gains over 50 lakh takas, aiming to boost stock market investment. Previously, a 30% tax applied if gains were realized within five years. Years. This change reduces the effective tax burden for high net worth individuals, over 50 core takas, from 40.5% to 20.25%, with similar reductions for taxpayers of lower net wealth. That's all for today. Thank you.